Do you remember this identity that I used in the natural log of two video? How do we know it's true? Luckily, today we have a special guest who is an expert at solving series. In fact, he once solved 100 series with no food, no water, and no stopping in six hours, six minutes, and 54 seconds, without a doubt a world record. It is my great pleasure to introduce you to the one and only Black Pen Red Pen. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Black and Red Pen, and first I want to give a big shout out to Dr. Wessel Couch for having me on this channel. And today I will show you guys how to calculate the series as n goes from 1 to infinity of 1 over 2n minus 1 times 2n. I will actually turn this into an integral question, and so just you know check it out. And if you want to see how Dr. Wessel Couch does this with what Minecraft, go ahead and check out the link in the description. That video is on my channel, so have a look. Alright, so here we go. Notice we have two factors on the bottom and they are linear, so I think the natural way to do this is just by partial fraction and see what happens, right? Well, so here we have the series as n goes from 1 to infinity, and then we will do partial fraction. The first fraction will have blank over 2n minus 1, and then the second fraction will have blank over 2n. And now to figure out this number, I will show you guys the cover method. All you have to do is, well, here we have 2n minus 1. We go back to the original and we cover out the same denominator and we have to ask ourselves 2n minus 1 is equal to 0 and is equal to what? 1 half, right? So we will have to put 1 half into this n right here. 2 times 1 half is 1, 1 over 1 is 1 and that's the number right here, right? Then I will go here and we cover the same denominator which is 2n and you ask yourself how can we make this equal to 0? n has to be 0. So we put 0 in this n right here, then we get 1 over 0 minus 1, which we get negative 1, right? So this is the partial fraction with the Capra method. And this right here is actually pretty good because you see that, well, it's almost like alternating, but it's unfortunately not. Let me just turn that into a minus. Hmm. Man, if this is alternating, it would be so much easier. But as I promised, I'll show you guys integral. Um, the truth is, you can actually use Taylor series to do this because you actually see, let me just mention this real quick. You actually see, if you put 1 in here, you will get 1 over 1 and then minus 1 over 2, that's the first term. And then you put 2 in here, you will get 3 on the bottom and then you will get plus 1 over 3 and then we get minus 1 over 4 and so on, so on, so on. This right here is a pretty famous series. Yes, it's the alternating harmonic series. Yes, this right here converges to ln2. And yes, you will have to use the Taylor series if you really want to make a legitimate argument for that. But that also requires some integration throughout. So I might with, we will show you guys how to do the integral. All right. Now, here's the deal. We will have to come up with an integral so that the result is 1 over 2n minus 1. Hmm, that's really weird. How can we make that happen though? Well, if you think about it, when we have 2n minus 1 on the bottom, that kind of suggests us of the what? The reverse power rule. Because let me remind you guys on the side, if you integrate x to the nth power dn, this right here equals, well, x to the n plus 1 power, but divided by the same power right here, right? And you see, if we can have the x, if we put a 1 in here, this right here pretty much doesn't matter anymore, and that kind of looks like this. That's the idea. So it seems like I should have a definite integral, and that's put down from 0 to 1, and that will be okay. Now we just have to think about what power do we really need to use, so we can end up with that. Do you guys have the answer for this? You just have to kind of think backwards. In order to get 2n minus 1, well, we better have what? x to the 2n minus 2, right? We should have this first because when we add 1 to the power, we will get 2n minus 1 and divide it by the same power, and we will get that. Very nice, huh? And let me, of course, put on the dx, otherwise people will say, hey, I forgot the dx. But I'm about to erase this anyway. Anyway, so this right here, I'm actually going to turn that into an integral going from 0 to 1, and let me just put that down, which is 
x to the 2 and minus 2 and of course we have the dx right and then similarly for the second one by the way that's a minus we will have the integral going from 0 to 1 well here I just have a 2n so I better have what just x to the 2n minus 1 very nice isn't it all right so that's just the scratch the scratch work and then I will just have to put up the series right from 1 to infinity and that's all we have and now we just have to do this um, carefully because we still have this infinite series right here and I know if you're watching this from your calculus 2 class that is really intimidating right because of course I was a Cal2 student myself before and I teach Cal2 so I understand but it's actually not so bad right have a look first off notice that if you have infinite series then keep that in mind only n matters right second thing just take this for granted for this video's purpose because uh, it's meant to be just for like calculus too and the idea is that when you have a series and also an integral you can actually interchange the word of a series and integral for this one right there are cases that you cannot interchange of them but you know for this one just trust me it works and maybe you guys can ask Dr. Russell Couch to give you guys a more detailed explanation right but I will just do the work right here for you guys all right right here this is what we do huh? integral integral both going from 0 to 1 both going from 0 to 1 right here so I can put the integral on outside first so here we have the integral going from 0 to 1 good now I will do the summation of this guy right so let me just write down the summation of well let me put down n goes from 1 to infinity of this guy which is x to the 2n minus 2 and then again we will have to subtract and this right here is x to the 2n minus 1 and pay close attention the order we got we will switch the order and now we will have to put on the dx right here so this is pretty good why because if you look at this n goes from 1 to infinity and this is x to some power in fact this is the geometry series and this right here actually converges because remember when we put on the integral it goes from 0 to 1 this right here converges you might be wondering what happens if x is exactly equal to 1 don't worry about it because when you are doing uh, the integrals right here the endpoint uh, you don't have to worry too much about that technically it's an improper integral but it converges in this case yeah all right I'm gonna fix this first off this is x to the negative 2 power right here as well remember this is the same as saying x to the 2n times x to the negative 2 yeah and just like what I told you guys earlier in the summation only n matters so what we can do is we can put the n minus 2 in the front of the summation so this is going to look like we have the series as n goes from sorry we have the integral from 0 to 1 I will put this in the front x to the uh, negative 2 I will write it as 1 over x squared and then we have the summation n goes from 1 to infinity and then x to the 2n and let me write it as x to the second power and then raised to the n power yep and I'm going to kind of like distribute the summation so right here we will have a minus and then again same thing this is x to the 2n times x to a negative 1 put this in the front which is 1 over x and then we have the series n goes from 1 to infinity and then we have x squared raised to the nth power like that and now I will just have to make sure uh, the parentheses is properly used right here all right pretty good huh? now Let's see what this is going to be. We have the integral and it should be in blue. It should be in blue. Sorry about that. Here we have the integral going from 0 to 1. And this is still 1 over x squared. But this right here is the geometry series where the common ratio is x squared. And again, it converges under that condition, integral going from 0 to 1. So this right here becomes what? Remember the formula is first term divided by 1 minus the common ratio 
The first term here is when we put 1 into this n. So the first term is x squared over 1 minus the common ratio, which is the x squared right here. Right? And then we do the same thing for the second part. We will have to have this minus, and then we have the 1 over x. And then we have the first term, again, same thing actually, x squared over 1 minus the common ratio, again, happens to be x squared as well. Well, let's see, we still have the little dx right here. So now let's just go ahead and simplify this a little bit, and then in the end, we can be happy because we just have to calculate an integral. And by the way, this technique works if you replace the 2 with a 4. So I think it's a lot cooler than uh, use the Taylor series. Otherwise, you only get the usual result, the alternating series for that, the alternating harmonic series. But anyway, continue. This guy, this guy cancels, so we just have 1 over 1 minus x squared. Should have been using my hand, my finger, whatever. Minus this guy, this guy cancels, but we have the x on the top over 1 minus x squared, and of course we still have the dx. You guys see it? You guys see it? Yes, right? Because this right here is just integral from 0 to 1, and then we have 1 minus x over 1 minus x squared, and we have the dx. And notice, when we have this right here, yeah, we can of course simplify that. This is just 1 minus x times 1 plus x, so we can cancel this out. Therefore, in the end, we just have to integrate, yeah, three markers in one hand, integrate from 0 to 1, and then we just have to do 1 over 1 plus x, and then dx. All right, finally, 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 this right here, the, the result is what? Yeah, you just get natural log, you don't need the absolute value because x is going from 0 to 1. So parentheses, 1 plus x, and then we have to go from 0 to 1, put a 1 in, we get ln of 1 plus 1, and then put a 0, right, and the subtract will have ln of 1 plus 0. Finally, of course, this is just nicely equal to ln2. ln1 is 0, so doesn't matter, and that is it. Alright, so hopefully you guys all like this video, and again, this technique works if you replace the coefficient right here with say, some other number, and, but I don't promise how difficult the integral is going to turn out to be, though, so I don't know about that. Anyway, again, I want to say thank you to Dr. Wessel Couch for having me on his channel. And thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully you guys will enjoy this. That's it.